are staggering. One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetime. Currently in the U.S., more than 2.8 million men have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And 8 on your side, Steve Andrews tells us no man is safe from this. That's right, Keith, and I know from personal experience. How do you know if you're in the early stages of prostate cancer? You don't. That guy sitting next to you or coming home from work will have no idea unless he gets tested. Brian Smithy is a firefighter paramedic. I had no signs, I had no symptoms, I felt good. Mark Hopper, a police officer. When they hit you with the C word, as we like to, you know, people refer to it, uh, you don't hear anything else for the next hour. It, it makes you think about what's important in life, your family, your kids, all the things you thought were important really aren't important any longer. Brian and Mark had the same questions that most of the 221,000 men in this country will have this year when they're diagnosed with prostate cancer. How bad is this? How much longer do I have? Sadly, in 2015, prostate cancer will kill more than 27,000. It, it knows no boundaries. A simple PSA blood test can determine if a man is likely to have prostate cancer. Many doctors recommend men over 50 get a yearly PSA test. African-American men should consider screening at 40. I believe that simple little test saved my life. If you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, there are many treatment options. Fortunately, nearly 100% of the men diagnosed in the early stages of the disease are alive five years after the diagnosis, like me. Saturday in Tampa at Al Lopez Park, folks who've had it, folks who fight it, will participate in the second annual Zero Prostate Run and Walk to heighten awareness that this disease can be beaten if detected early. There is no reason for anybody to die of this, you know, like it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. These two first responders took the first most important step. They got tested. And now after treatment, they are cancer free. This is kind of surprising. There will be more new prostate cancer cases diagnosed this year than lung and colorectal combined. I asked a doctor today if he could show me what prostate cancer looks like. He told me, take a picture of the guy sitting next to you, the guy exhibiting no symptoms at all. That's what early stage prostate cancer looks like. Yeah, and no need to stereotype because this idea that it's just the older folks who get it, an older male, that's not the case. Yeah. Uh, younger people as well. That's right. Well, and it depends on what you call older. You know, I mean, I was diagnosed in my 50s. Uh, Mark and Brian were both diagnosed at younger ages. And research is showing that prostate cancer, unfortunately, is showing up in African Americans at a much earlier age. But you got to catch it early, and that's a good thing, and it can't happen. My father had it. We've talked a little bit that's about right. that, yeah. but he's 15 years ago, so there is life expectancy if you catch Absolutely, it early. Absolutely, if you get it taken care of. Thank you, Steve. Sure. Now, you really need to get tested here, and the numbers are jumping out at us here. One in seven men will be diagnosed in their lifetime. Nearly 221,000 will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year alone, and 27,000 will die. So go to WFLA.com and our Facebook page and share your information, we have an article right there for you, and this could save your life.